to look at both sides of this discussion. Uh, I'm joined this morning by Alex Greenwich from the Australian Marriage Equality and also Peter Madam from the Christian Democratic Party. Gentlemen, good morning to good both morning, of you. Good morning, Um Alex, on a personal level, what would it mean to you to be married legally? Well, I guess, you know, many Australians grow up and, and we're told to, to aspire to this great institution called marriage. Um, that's something I personally want to do. I proposed to my fiancé about six months ago. And I guess I hope to be able to get married to the person I love in the country that I love. I guess it's also important because it's an issue of discrimination. I'm currently discriminated against because I'm gay. I don't have a different driver's licence because I'm gay, but, but I do have a different form of relationship recognition. And it also will provide me with protection. It will provide loving Australian couples with unquestionable legal protection, which we currently don't have. Peter, why shouldn't Alex enjoy the same happiness and privilege that married couples have? Well, you've got to understand, as a Christian Democratic Party candidate, mm. I stand as an advocate for the family. Mm. Um, Alex represents under 2% of the population. And this, this Actually, debate... we're 62% of the population that supports marriage equality. OK, I'll get there too. But I mean, as, as far as the homosexuals, we as Australians want to give everybody a fair go, including Alex. But we also got to look at the, the fact that 98% of the country, if indeed the legislation is passed, will actually lose their rights to determine what their children are taught in school, uh, and, and no, exactly no, okay, so. yeah, just explain that. Uh, is, so your um, anti-homosexuality, um, is this religious-based or sociological? Well, it's, look, I'm a minister of the gospel, so... Mm. So it's know, religious? Well, no, it's religious, sociological, legal and political. It's about representation. I represent 98% of the population who's not homosexual. Now, I know Alice mm. is going to jump in on this, but what I'm saying by that, if you look at Massachusetts and what's happened, they, they were the first state in America to pass and legalise mm. homosexual marriage. What's happened since 2003 when that was passed, we've seen a raft of uh, changing laws and we've actually got education Th That's going a complete lie, right you know that, Peter. But what, what we've seen in Massachusetts mm. is when you include uh, uh, gay and lesbian couples into the divorce rate, the divorce rate has actually gone down. And what we've seen in Catholic Spain and in Catholic Portugal, the day after well, Alex, marriage equality was legalised, the sky didn't Alex, fall in. Alex, I'm, what I'm worried about is the children, OK? okay, just, can, you, okay. Children okay. can you be more specific? You're worried about the children of heterosexual couples. What is it you are, in fact, worried about? OK, what's happened in Massachusetts? Now, we've got ten nations around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, ten states and eight nations around the world. Alex likes to say... Yeah, we just, need get, to... just okay. get to what's happening with the children. OK, what's actually happening is a raft of educational procedures, sex education, homosexual sex education, the introduction of very explicit books into the education system at a time when children are very impressionable. OK, do and... you believe um, homosexuality is a choice? I believe, it, yeah, OK, the, the data on that, psychologically, is that it's a mixture of temp temperament with environment. Is it a choice for you? It's not a choice. Um, I, I struggled with my sexuality, um, and I struggled with my sexuality at a time when the then Prime Minister said two men and a cockle spaniel do not make a family. Um, I, I've then reconciled with that, and I've come out as a proud gay man. My brother is also gay. I've got... I've got, I've got gay cousins. Um, as Lady Gaga says, we're, we're born this way. It, it's not a choice. Um, so and it's it, made harder given, by people like you. Given that, do you think no a normal... Like uh, if you're worried about the children and the family, and I, and I hear this, and therefore the education in schools and the, because of the legalities, having strong family role models as your mum and dad, would that not supersede any other laws? Um, well, this hasn't been the case in Massachusetts. Parents have lost their We're rights to determine... We're not talking about Massachusetts, Peter. We're talking determine. about Australia here. Excuse and me, and you're making stuff okay, up about I'm talking about a, a global push for the normalisation of homosexuality. You're talking about a global push for affected. equality and for the equality of love if is I what we're talking speak, about. Alex. And what you, the point where you're Alex, coming just, from... Okay. It, we'll Sorry. just get to the education of children. That is still going to be in the domain of parents. No, in fact, in other countries around the world, this is what's happening. You see, same-sex legislation, mm -hmm. we feel for Alex, etc. we feel for that I minority, for you, Peter. but 98% sure of the population mm -hmm. have lost their right overseas to what their children are taught in school. That's ridiculous. So some people in totally ridiculous. who have protested... Could I say, yes, if sorry, uh, the education was still... and every parent had control of the education, religious and social education of the children, would you um, be more agreeable to letting others... Uh, be legally married? Okay, what you're coming back to the ideological base, whether I agree with Alex getting married. Is it a it sin? Is homosexuality a sin? Sex outside of marriage, according to the church, is a sin. Well, so then, what, let me get what married, they're pushing so I'm not for exactly, anymore, Peter. exactly. But 
You mm. can't biblically because of what okay. the Bible says about let's, homosexuality. Let, let, you, you're you cannot about biblically children. be married. If I, could, if I could just counter your point on children. No, I'm just okay, answering Kerry's okay, question. Let me answer your question about children. So currently, there are children being raised by gay and lesbian parents. Those parents are not able to get married. By legalising marriage equality in Australia, it gives those families the protection. So it allows those kids to have two parents that are married. And on that, that note, I'll let you have the, the final say with that particular point. Because it is happening in our society. You can't sort of play yes. ostrich and pretend okay. it's not going on. There are people yeah. who uh, you feel very strongly about wanting to be legal. How yeah. do you, what about those children? Look, my, my concern uh, is for the children, but my concern mm. is for the family. I come from an area where over 50% mm. of the children are growing up in single parent households. Mm -hmm. They're fatherless, so two parents they're fatherless, than one. they're actually mm. very um, susceptible to influences, okay? Mm. So what I'm actually saying so is the you... mums and dads out there mm. need to maintain their right on what their children are taught in school. Under now, any circumstances, we... maintaining Sorry, rights can I just parents... make it an, an Important point. I'll give you 10 seconds. Great, thank you. Um, an important point to realise is that, the, you know, I, I question coming on here today because it gave Peter a platform mm. to spray his homophobia. And what we need, to say, what we need to say, yeah. what we need to say to, to the gay and lesbian yeah. youth of Australia is that there is nothing wrong with you. Don't listen to Peter. Courts and countries around the world are legalising marriage equality. Um, don't listen to Peter. It gets better. Okay, You'll Alex, be fine. Do you understand how there are a lot of young people out there feeling hurt and pain and sometimes confusion by what you're pushing? I'll give you the last 10 seconds, then we do have to go. OK. You say a lot of youth. OK, the, the, uh, the temperament that is susceptible to homosexuality mm -hmm. reduces from 16 to 21. Now, I would say to the youth, you are youth, we need to set boundaries until you're of an age and we change everything, licensing, insurancing, uh, etc. at 25 because children, though very intelligent, don't understand the consequences well, of their actions. Alex, I do hope uh, you appreciate. I think we've had a fairly good, even uh, spread of information here, but uh, uh, Peter Madden, Alex, uh, Thanks, Greenwich, thank Happy you very much for your time this thank morning. You, Tough issue, but uh, we've got a lot more coming up. And what are your thoughts this morning? If you've got a view, either way, we'd love to hear from you. Kerryanne at nine.com.au. Now, this is for you.